When can you use clips from prior films and appearances when you're interviewing a celebrity about a current project? Hi, I'm attorney Gordon Firemark, and this is Asked and Answered, where I answer your entertainment law questions to help you take your career and business to the next level. Rich wrote in with this question. I have an independently produced TV show that features celebrity interviews. I'm the creator and producer of the show that's seen on some small broadcast and regional and cable networks, college TV stations, community TV stations, etc. We've been growing, he said. When we do the show, I have the approved clips, the electronic press kit, from the studio uh, for the film or TV show that the celebrity is there promoting. There, of course, is limited use uh, allowed for these materials. That's not an issue here. But I was wondering about using clips from the celebrity's other projects. Can I use a small portion on the program, like 10 to 15 seconds, possibly with no sound, just the video, or maybe with both video and sound? I usually put an on-screen graphic announcing the distributor or studio. Before, I would put a still photo in the coverage, but nowadays, that looks like it could be an issue, too. I believe news programs are exempted and are allowed to use on news programs uh, these kinds of things, which is a one-time only airing. Most of my episodes have a limited shelf life, but we do air more than once with repeats of the episodes. I noticed some professional YouTube channels are doing stories, and they're using various clips with or without the sound, some throughout the entire piece. So, he wants to know what's my take in using past clips of movie and TV shows and photos when interviewing celebrities. Well, Rich, thank you for your question. It's really impossible to give you a clear, hard and fast rule. The determination of whether a particular use is a fair use is determined on a case-by-case -case basis and involves this complex multi-factor analysis. If you want to watch one of my videos, go to firemark.com slash fair use in brief. that will give an explanation of this issue. There's no special exemption for news. Newsworthiness addresses only one of the four factors, the purpose and character of the use factor. And that isn't by itself determinative. Also, What's news today is nostalgia in a few years, and history a few years after that. Things can be very subjective. Now, other YouTubers may be doing what they're doing legally, under license or permission, or as fair use, or they may simply be getting away with it. And some may even be getting caught, sued, or whatever, and you just don't hear about it. You're not aware. Now, whether you're doing your thing with or without sound isn't that important of a consideration, except as it relates to the amount and substantiality factor of what you're using. If the material comes from an EPK, an electronic press kit, it's generally okay to use under the implied license related to promoting that particular film or project where it was made. But whether that license goes any further is very questionable. Your question even specifies that the EPK includes some limitations, so it's a safe bet that the other films' EPKs do the same. My advice, then, is simply ask for the permission for everything you use. Unless there's a blanket grant of rights that's been given with the original EPK for the film and you can find that stuff or whatever, you need to get that permission. You might find that the celebrity's publicist, the manager or agent has other clips that are available for you to use pretty freely. I think it pays to ask. So that does it for this session of Asked and Answered. If you have a question you'd like to see here, just visit firemark.com questions and let me know. I'll see you next time.